Hari probably started as an origami practitioner before anything, because I took up origami when I was six. But in high school, I got interested in math and science, and, and so I went to college and studied electrical engineering and, and then applied physics. But origami was always a passion throughout that time. And in 2001, I decided to make origami my full-time activity. Quit my job and uh, devoted myself almost entirely to the paper folding and origami. Right now I've got work in the New York Museum of Modern Art and the Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts and a pretty large show, about 40 pieces, at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. Most of my work is representational um, and for that I'm inspired by the natural world. I love wildlife, I love the outdoors and when I see animals in the outdoors I am inspired to come back and to try to recreate that emotional impact with a sheet of paper. I use a lot of math in my work, and that's because what's possible in origami is, is defined by the mathematical properties of a folded sheet of paper. So if you understand the math, you can use it to create a lot of forms that you probably wouldn't have discovered just by trial and error. Uh, so, and math is much broader than, than uh, than what you might think. Just as many, most people's thoughts of origami might be cootie catchers and toys, most people's thoughts of math is arithmetic and quadratic equations, stuff they learned in high school. Math is much broader than that. It's the study of shapes and relationships and, and forms and information. And the aspects of math that come into origami are often the math from this much broader world about relationships and, and shapes and forms.